Tawanga will shine tonight, Tawanga will shine. Tawanga means I will or I can. And uh, that, that was the Indian translation. Well, I am um, third generation Tawangan. My grandpa went to Camp Tawanga when he was a young little boy, um, when camp was at Lake Tahoe. And um, he basically has been coming ever since. <laughs> There's something about that camp that it, it's magnetic, it's a spirit, it, it just attracts you, it just never leaves you. I think my first year at Camp Tawanga was in 1936, and uh, I enjoyed it very much. There were very important times in my life. But I went when I was eight years old, and I was one of the youngest boys up there. The uh, structures up there were very meager. There were uh, tents, covers on wooden platforms, nothing like it is today. And the first day of camp, they would bury old man Grouch, and that really impressed me. I've even tried to use that in a later life, that it's better to look at the brighter sides than it is to uh, complain. We had about $12 worth of athletic equipment in the whole camp. We used to play baseball out in the cow pasture, and we used, excuse the expression, but we used cow dungs for bases. And it was very touchy if you slid into second base. Uh, most of the board were pals of mine, and we had a wonderful time opening the camp. I was there for the uh, first opening. The kids came. Uh, I had spent a couple of days prior to putting the mattresses and beds together and working, and uh, I, think, I think it was a successful first year. Somehow Camp, camp Tawanga has that same sparkle and, and drawing power for these kids. And once they start going, they go as long as they can. In our family, five of our seven grandchildren have gone to Camp Tawanga. Always have one foot in, in the soil at, at, at Camp Tawanga.